Well, I feel really comfortable saying that this is going to be a most unusual matchup. Brad Stutz and Matty De Niro are in the booth for the first ever Kill Billy Classic, a match celebrating the contributions of wrestlers from the Commonwealth of Virginia over the past 349 CWF events. We have got six of the best that have ever come out of the state of Virginia in this match. One of the best that has ever come out of the state of Virginia is in the booth with me. Maddie. I know you know all these guys very, very well. Well, yeah, I came up, I trained with each and every single one of the guys in the ring, other than Charlie Weston, who is a rookie that has come along recently under the tutelage of Sean Christian, who we all owe respect to for being here in the CWF. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Sean Christian, and I just want to go ahead and say that right off the bat. Right now, it really, it makes me really happy to see him and all these guys in the room. I'm just getting emotional kind of talking about it. Seeing all these guys in the ring tonight, this, is, this means a whole lot, and I'm so glad to be here in the booth for this match. I, I cannot stress enough. Oh, hold on. No, nah, why not? I like this. Yes. Evan Banks is calling for a three-way test of strength here. They should just do it with their three fingers, but, but yes. You know, uh, it, it is very tough for me to convey to our, our viewing audience at home, especially if you live outside of North Carolina and Virginia, it is very tough for me to explain just how much, oh, oh, I think they've got, I think they've got Charlie, Charlie West. Oh, does he know? Oh, you're never going to do the Gangnam Style. Wow. It, it is tough for me to convey to someone who is not from Virginia or North Carolina just how much Sean Christian has meant to the wrestling community of Virginia and North Carolina. Literally, he has trained so many of these guys. And, and was, he was the instructor at Jimmy Valiant's camp Still is. for years and years and years. And, and it, it's like you said, uh, he, he's been responsible for putting so many good people in the wrestling industry. It, it is a treat for us to have him here tonight. And it looks like young Charlie Weston and Evan Banks are going to start it out. And Maddie, you already touched on this, but, but even us here in the Carolinas, uh, Charlie Weston is the, the one out of the six that we know the least about. But, you know, kind of educate our, our viewers here what it means, the, the, the significance of the fact that this is the guy that Sean Qu Christian handpicked to take Lee Valiant's place in Team Elite. Well, you know what? It, it, that is very interesting that you bring that up. And, uh, you know, there, it, Charlie Weston is someone that I've, I've heard a lot about. I, I, I didn't, I wasn't down here for his first CWF bout. Oh, getting a little aggressive with the former member of Team Elite there, uh, Lee Valiant. However, uh, that uh, withstanding, I'm really interested to seeing what Charlie Weston brings to the table in Team Elite because the tag team of Sean Christian and Lee Valiant was unbelievable and I really wish the CWF could have seen more of that uh, that that awesome tag team that I got to see quite a few times um, in Virginia every Sunday uh, training um, I, like I said this is just you know uh, words really can't uh, I can't really put into words how important and, and how incredible this is right now Sean Christian has made this is not his first appearance in CWF he's made sporadic ones yes. over the years but uh, uh, undeniably it is it is a treat for everyone in this match to have their mentor their trainer Sean Christian down here for one night only. Big scoop power slam. I can say, I don't feel bad saying, uh, I, at different points in my life, I have lived with both Lee Valiant and Eric Andrews, both the men in the ring at this time, and they, they have spoke with such reverence about Sean Christian, his training, his contributions to their career, and both of them had, have always said, if we could ever get Sean Christian down here for one night, it would be a dream come true, and, and that we have that right here. And speaking of a dream come true, how about the fact Ooh. that Kazi and Lee Valiant are a team for the first time in a long, long, long time. Yeah, I don't see what the big deal is, but anyway. Uh, well, we don't need to necessarily get into all of that. Okay. I, I, like oh. I said, I don't really know what's going on here. Wait a minute. Oh, boy. Now. Wait a second. Oh. Wait. Oh, now, you know what? I want to say Kazi was trying to hit Lee there. Oh, boy. 
I really do. Things are, you know, this team was announced, and I was like, well, this is an interesting tandem. Oh, he's getting rolled up. Schoolboy. Kazi had to save the match right there. It, you know, it, it's really tough to explain, and it might not even really be worth getting into, but let's just say. Here we go. Kamikaze Kid and Lee Valiant were friends years ago. They had the ugliest falling out I've ever seen two people have in wrestling or in my life. And needless oh. to say, this team is a big surprise to a lot of people that these two are on the same team for this matchup as now Sean Christian tagged in legally for the first time uh, against one of his star pupils, Kamikaze Kid. You know, one thing I got to say about all, oh, like he's got the beard. The one thing I want to say about this, every single one of us, is we all have learned from each other. Sean Christian taught us a whole lot, you know. He taught us how to do things the right way in the wrestling ring, whereas all of us came up together, you know, we all helped each each other and and just you know seeing everybody in the ring right now this match is going to be fantastic i mean you know we're just minutes in and i can already tell you right now when this is done we're gonna be like that was so much fun look at how quick sean christian is has not lost a step has sean christian absolutely not 99.9 .9 of the sundays every single year he is training kids at boogie woogie jimmy valiant's wrestling camp in shawsville virginia that's more dedication to this sport than a lot of guys here can say. And it says something about Sean Christian wanting to teach these kids the right way. However, they're cheating right now, but I guess when you come down to North Carolina, all bets are off. Oh God, double stop. I thought Kazi's head might have hit the ceiling on that one. That was vicious right there, Kamikaze Kid. These two men, no strangers to one another either. Ooh, vicious knee by Kamikaze Kid, who's now tagging in Evan Banks. You never know what's gonna happen with this guy. Banks going for the cover, wants to go for the win here. Gonna go for it again. Repeating pins, it works sometimes. Well, now, let's talk oh. about this real quick. Okay. You are someone that has been known to have a lot of fun here in CWF Mid-Atlantic over the years. And sure. it, has, it has just been recently that you have come to the realization, perhaps, that you should take your wrestling career a little bit more seriously. 350 CWF events, and you have never held a title. Not even the Rising Generation League title when you were a younger man. That's true. Do, do, how do you feel about Evan Banks' wrestling style now? Have you have you grown past that lighthearted wrestling style? Do you resent Evan Banks for doing it now? Or do you still think that there can be a tactical advantage to having that, that lighthearted, uh, underwhelming style? As you can see right now, I have no problem with it whatsoever. Um, but, you know, going back to, you know, the way it's seen, but he, he definitely ain't going to be putting up with that too much, Sean Christian. Um, but as I was saying, um, you know, right now my style. Good God! Spiked him on the canvas! Mm. Totally lost my train of thought as uh, I think the floor shook there with that <laughs> spine buster. The question was, is it a mistake for Evan Banks to keep that lighthearted comedic style? When you're wrestling a guy like Sean Christian, absolutely. You got to think about who you're in there with. As you saw earlier tonight, man, I knew I was in there with guys that outweighed me by well over 450 pounds, 500 pounds. I couldn't go out there and mess around tonight. And, you know, fortunately tonight I was at the right place at the right time. Uh, but, you know, there's a time and a place for the funny. Uh, that's pretty much uh, where I've come to realize. Spread the legs on the drop kick. See now what's going on here with Charlie Weston. Boom! Oh, goodness! Put it, put it right in the sternum and Evan Banks is hurt bad. I mean, that wasn't even like a drop kick. He just pretty much brought his whole body in. Full impact by Charlie Weston. Very impressive as he's whipping Evan Banks off the ropes and catches him with a back elbow. You can kind of see similar uh, mannerisms in Charlie Weston, uh, much like uh, uh, his tutor uh, Sean Christian. I was going to say, it definitely Definitely looks like he has been personally mentored. Mm -hmm. You know who they remind me of? And, and everyone in our regular viewing audience will, will understand this reference. It reminds me of watching Jim and I Kid and Roy Wilkins as a tag team. You can tell that that's the guy that Christian has mentored the most closely. His style most resembles Christian's style in the ring. Absolutely. And, and, and you know what? And, and it's kind of like a great quarters, quarterbacks coach in football. I hate comparing uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, football, baseball, whatever, to wrestling, but you know, Sean Christian is like that coach that's where after he coached you, if you stay with him or even if you leave him, you're going to be a better wrestler because you spent that time with him. Much like Lee Valiant, much like Kamikaze Kid, Evan Banks, Eric Andrews, myself included.
Back drop. Oh no, sunset flip. Wait a minute. Oh, shorts are down. Oh my goodness. Well, oh, that's shenanigans. And he paid for it dearly. Close line without the shorts. Sean Christian looking fantastic here. Like you said, man, this guy, you know, he does not travel much anymore. He stays close to home. Uh -oh. But just like you said, oh. good Lord, two feet right in the back of the head. But just like you said, he's in the ring every Sunday working out, training people, teaching them the business. And it shows this guy is as crisp as he ever was. He moves as well as he ever did. Uh, Team Elite could really pull this thing out and shock a lot of people in Absolutely. this match. Absolutely. I was just thinking that, you know, you know, a guy like Sean Christian, you know, I mean, He's, we keep going on and on about him. And this is how much it means that he's down here with us tonight as Kamikaze Kid and Lee Valiant are attempting a very nice double team. So from the beginning of the match, we have a little dissension between Lee and Kazi, and now they seem to be working together okay as Lee Valiant is starting to lose his temper a little bit with Eric Andrews as they begin brawling a little bit. And here comes Kazi and Lee on Evan Banks. Man, that's the thing about a lot of these Virginia guys is they are so hot-headed. They are so fiercely competitive. Most of them. That's, a, that's, for, that's for darn sure. As the crowd starts to get behind the Kill Billies, Kamikaze Kid flipping in the ring as we've seen him do often in the past 349 tremendous events the CWF has put on as he snap mares Evan Banks over and goes for the tag on Sean Christian. He accepts. And he's like, hey, get out of my face. Oh, no. Because he's like, you get out of my face. Good and Lord. he's picking him up. What's going on here? Dropped him right on Banks. Goodness, somebody pinned somebody. Both men are down. Kamikaze Kid just peeled off a receipt there. This crowd begins to get behind these two men in the ring. Lee Valiant and Kamikaze Kid continue to somewhat like argue in the corner with each other. Sean Christian making his way to all fours as well as Evan Banks, who I think is gonna to get to his feet first, but Sean Christian makes a tag, and here comes Eric Andrews. Eric Andrews with a big back body drop. That was all Eric's power right there into that maneuver, as he now takes Sean Christian, whipping him into the ropes. He goes for a big power slam on Sean Christian. Charlie Weston really got dropped awkwardly right there. He might be hurt. Kazi and Lee both charging in, and they both get clotheslined. Eric Andrews now showing his power as he's picking up Lee Valiant. He's going to now lift him up for a power slam. What could this week see? Double team, no. Chest first in their turnbuckle. Evan Banks with a huge spear on Lee Valiant. Absolutely speared Valiant's guts out, did Evan Banks. And now the Killbillies looking to capitalize on this. I would say these two are the most well-established team in this matchup. However, both of them get knocked silly by Kamikaze Kid, who just came from the far reaches of China to deliver that shot to Evan Banks. Christian staggers up, goes for Kazi. Kazi blocks it, kicks oh. him in the gut. Could be that big DVD. No, he's going to send him off. Christian blocks it. Christian with a shot to the gut now. Christian with a catches him. Cradle. Well, I've seen this many times before. Royal Butterfly Brain Buster. Beautifully done. The precision, the technique of Sean Christian is unbelievable. Oh. Knee Trembler oh. just not Christian oh. Loopy. Oh. Man, that could have been a game changer right there. However, his student Charlie Weston waiting in the rings as he now beautifully done. Weston needs to go for the cover. He's hit the biggest move of his CWF career so far, and he's talking to the crowd about it. Lee Valiant now picking him up. What does he got here? Might be that modified gory bomb. Boom! Spiked him on his face. Goodness gracious. Highlight real material in this matchup tonight. <laughs> Lee going for that big elbow, it looks like. What could we see here? Lee Valiant, unpredictable when he gets up on that top rope. He flies with a tremendous elbow to the sternum of Charlie Weston as he goes for the pin. One, two, Kamikaze Kid off the top with a frog splash. Why was he going to dive on his partner? That's what I want to know. Wait a minute. Oh, God. Uh, here we go. We should have placed that bet before the match, Stutzy. We talked about these two had the most bitter falling out of any two people I've ever seen in my life. And now these two, whoa, now these oh two God. are starting to come to blows here. Oh, but they're both taking over the top. 
Oh, God, I think they landed on Christian. Good Lord. Charlie Weston all by himself with the Killbillies, and that is not a good thing. Leaping stunner Goodness. right in to the side, Virginia leg sweep. Weston covered. Forget it. And the Killbillies have won it. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the Killbilly Classic, Southpaw, Eric Andrews, Honky Kong Evan Banks, the Killbillies. But tonight, 350, so I'm not gonna talk long. I'm just gonna say something. I'm gonna say that Banks, Andrews, and myself, we went to BWC, Boogie's Wrestling Camp, but we learned nothing more than we learned from that man, Sean Christian. So it's special for us tonight that it's not only the 350th show, but that Sean Christian is here, brought his star people. So we're gonna, we're gonna let everybody speak if they wanna say something to you, Sean Christian. First of all, love you. I love CWF. I love every moment since I've been here. The only person I've never got to wrestle that I always wanted to was you. This is my most special moment at CWF. Sean, you were there the first day that I came to Boogies. And I can honestly say this. There wouldn't be no Eric Andrews. There wouldn't be no Evan Banks. And there wouldn't be no Bobby O'Neill. The Killbillies wouldn't be anything in CWF if it wasn't for you. I love you, brother. So as we go back a long ways, and I'll be honest with every one of you people out there. If there was no Sean Christian, there was no Lee Valiant. Because I spent years with this guy, learning my craft. And I've said it so many times to you, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I love you, you're my brother, and I swear I will always be there for you, even sometimes when I don't even answer your text, man. I don't know how I'm supposed to follow all that, so I'm just going to say I love you and I want to hug. That's all I want to say. You hit somebody with a chair. Um, I just was on commentary with Brad, and we spent pretty much 85% of that match talking about you. Um, it, every, they said it. There would not be a single one of us, I know for sure, in the ring right now if it wasn't for you. You taught us so much. And from the bottom of my heart and from everybody else's, I just want to say one thing to you other than thank you. Please come back. since you're my first student and I'm amazed and proud at the man that you've become actually all of you I've had a hand in training all of you guys except for you Bobby <laughs> but it's great to finally get this guy finally up here and to get this guy the appreciation I've seen him bust his butt so much so many times at Boogie's Camp training sweat and bleeding and that's just me every Sunday, <laughs> he's me. Every Sunday he's every always there Sunday. turning out stars like these guys right here and I'm just so proud of you, what you've become, and I'm just amazed at, you know, all of you guys. I want to say... I think everybody here and everybody in the back just wants to thank you, brother. Thank you, Let's give it up 
Oscar Virginia's contributions to CWF Mid-Atlantic. Let me get you a beat of the dark.